Here at the Excel Calcs website, we share engineering calculations with everybody all over the world. Now, we see hundreds of calculations, and we've put together what we th think const constitutes a good calculation. So if you bear with me, I'll take you through this presentation. There's some guiding principles that should always, uh, you should always find in calculations. The first of which is that it should be immediately obvious the purpose of the calculation. You should say in a calculation why you know the answer is correct. So we need some kind of validation of the calculation. And the third thing is that the calculation method needs to be transparent. <clears throat> There's some more tips to make good calculations too. There's 10 in all, so if you just bear with me, I'll take you through the rest. Include references. Really, this is part of the purpose and the being transparent in your calculation method, but we must include any reference material that we use in calculations. We should also use consistent units. Now, I'm going to talk about what I mean by consistent units, but basically it's a method so that you can change from metric system of units to the US system of units very easily without having to change any formulas. Always include a sketch. A sketch is worth a thousand words, or whatever the metaphor was. Use charts. Uh, you know, particularly if you're making calculations with Excel, if you have some visual indication of what the calculation is telling you, it makes it much clearer uh, for people to understand and use. Break your calculation down into a number of calculation steps. This clearly just makes it easier to understand. And use hyperlinks so you can jump from one step to another easily. Link to data sources. Now there's lots of ways you can do this within Excel. You can use, uh, you can use interpolation functions, you can use lookup data tables, but it's quite good if there is a data source linked to the calculation so you can check things like the size of bolts. Uh, that would make a, a useful data table so that your, your bolt calculation can work for any size of bolt. Use the Excel comment feature. Now, the, the good thing about the Excel comment feature is that it doesn't actually print out. But if you're driving the spreadsheet, you can look at these hints and it will give you some good guidance as you go along. And finally, use the XLC add-in. And this is part of the transparent calculation method. Here at Excel Calcs, we produce an add-in that automatically changes formulas to mathematical equations. So it's immediate to anybody, uh, it's immediately obvious to anybody what the calculation method is. Finally, we've put all these elements together in the Excel Calcs template. And if you bear with me, I'll take you through that quickly too. So here is Excel, and in fact it's opened uh, with uh, using the XLC uh, calculation template. And you can see already how we've laid out the sheet so that you can put in uh, vital in information for a calculation. And there's some hints here to help you too. If I just uh, go over the hints, you can see there's just some interesting comments here on uh, the various aspects of calculation that we've just touched upon. And what I'd like to show you is uh, using this table here of uh, consistent units, how we can change this simple calculation uh, prepared using the XLC add-in. Uh, force, force over area is stress, and we have units here. And all I've done there is I put, that's force, that's area, and that's stress. And all I have to do is change to a different set of uh, units. And you can see that the calculation now can be used uh, by uh, someone in the US who's using the uh, his different set of uh, units. What it means is that the calculation becomes usable by everybody all over the world, and it's remarkably simple to do. OK, well, thanks for listening to this short presentation. I hope that you go about making good calculations. And if you're ever looking for good calculations, a good place to start is the Excel Counts website. Thanks for listening.